Oh yes, welcome back to Marvel Contest of Champions News. It's your first of March edition of the news. Thank you very much for tuning on in. And just to get something out of the way, I did an oopsie on Wednesday's news in the fact that, hey, when I said like, oh, those tier five class catalysts, they, they, don't, they don't appear in my, in my thing. Thank you for people in the comment section who mentioned, click the ownership tab and then you'll be able to see them. Thank you. I did an oopsie. Let's just get into the news. Our first story begins with the fact that unfortunately it looks like we do not have summoner advancement rewards. For whatever reason, it looks like it has been delayed for another week in a row. This is really, really crap. At 1.24am British time, it was a case that Command Mike said they were looking into it and further looking into it. At the time I'm recording Marvel Contest Champions news, it is 8.20am British time and... Uh, Nothing still. Hopefully by the time this video is released that you do indeed see those rewards in your account. But this more than likely will take a little bit of time depending on the end of day in Canada and the point that this can actually be resolved. Second story is that we've got the calendar that's come in. It's not too bad. Look, it's not anything too substantial. It's good to see the five star shards in there. But, uh, you know, it's usually, like just to reiterate people, it's normally either November, December, January that you see decent stuff in the calendar. January's a kind of a stretch actually for good stuff, but it's definitely around those coldest months where people are inside the most, that you get the best things from the logging calendars. But it is very rare to see something in the calendar that's any good between March and, uh, and October. Now, as I mentioned at the start of February, we would likely see some sort of package of compensation for missed romance shards. I didn't actually clock that we would actually get tier four Catus fragments back. So that's really positive. So if you did love in the battle realm, you might have known that some of the stuff that Caban put as rewards that you get in a post, you didn't actually receive in game. It was only a case that we received those compensation packages fairly recently, only obviously if you completed some stuff. So yes, it's good to see that and good to see that Kabam acknowledged that in order to give that back to the A couple of lucky summoners actually bagging themselves to Emma Frost. So. Uh, Hey, good on you two. Next up, it looks like March is going to be insanely good. And why? Because something is returning that I absolutely adore. And it's similar to Vanquishing Blows, getting some Valor, the same thing with Infinity Dust. It's a store. I'm so glad to see this come back to the game. But let's talk about the month. Next up, when we've got two new champions coming into the game, you should know by now that it's Nick Fury as well as Captain Marvel, with the potential that scrolls could be entered in some sort of way in the future. However, though, we've got a full video that looks at that and I'm kind of dissecting a lot of this in a stream. Link is in the description, but we'll talk about that in a moment. The whole store thing seems to look like Intel and Intel is then buying stuff with it. So there's amazing stuff as you can see here, which I really cannot wait for this. Similar to, as I said, Vanquishing Blows, there's probably going to be events with uh, solo questing that's going to be so cool. Although I'm very sketchy on things like champion requirements. What exactly is this going to be? I'm sure it's going to be fun. I hope it's going to be fun. Next up, and it looks like we've got another iPhone 6 limitation. Now, something I have been discussing in previous news is where I've gone, hey, there's an iPhone 6 issue. People are kind of finding that the older devices are not able to do certain quests. Maybe there's an ambush that comes up and it just stops people in their tracks and shuts down the game. And it looks like there's something in Act 4 that does, unfortunately, exactly the same. And even though this has been reported several weeks ago, I think it's important to talk about this stuff because it does limit people. Do bear in mind, not everybody can afford the top device, the new device that is gonna make this game so much more easier to run. So they have to rely on older devices in order to still play. So do spare some thoughts. I really hope that, as I said, Kabam can either say what devices they're not compatible with with the game, and also at the same time, maybe recommend some newer devices. Currently, I am using a Huawei Mate 20X, and I find that to be quite good, and obviously using that on my second account, which is called Floppy Member. Yeah, that's the point where you laugh. Either way, not everybody can have the best device, and it does look like it's not smooth running for everybody on different platforms. Next up, I'm just quickly touching on this story. I know a lot of people have kind of had their voice about Cyclops being entered into the new kind of feature, and the kind of the double Cyclops thing. The fact is, uh, well, it just kind of spilled over to the forums, and Kabam Mike obviously got involved. I'm gonna laugh just saying, don't knock my boy Cyclops. And by the way, 2019, I think is the year of Kabam Mike having a lot more sass. So you have it, girlfriend, go get him. Then as per usual with the forum, everyone starts talking about who's the best at this, who's the best at that. They shout in their own opinion, who's right, who's wrong. And by the end of it, you know, they just go, do you know what? 
let's just close this because you're all bickering and you're not coming to any kind of logical conclusion. Don't you just love it? Next up, and if you were in my live stream yesterday, thanks very much. We had a blast. We discussed and kind of dissected all of the abilities of not just Nick Fury, not just Captain Marvel, the movie version, but also Gamora's new buff. Thanks again for everyone who dropped on by. And if you do want to see what we were talking about and also read through the stuff with me, the link is in the description below. Oh, and the time code is 1024 when I start talking about it. Next up, we've got a community discussion. I love these. I think they're nice little additions and great from the Kabam team doing this. So Kabam Vidius has asked what team you want to be part of and what grouping different things like the Avengers, X-Men, Inhumans. The list goes on. The fact is, have your say in this particular thread. And it is like, it's really nice to have these things. Please bear in mind that comic book characters mean a lot more to certain people than they do to others. For some, they're just playing a game, collecting rewards, blah, 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 fighting with them. It's great. But for others, they overcome certain barriers and at the same time are things to kind of inspire people and emulate. When you're a child, you look at these things with great joy. When you're older, you look back at them with nostalgia. So do bear in mind the types of backgrounds to people when they're particularly commenting on things. So have respect, have love for one another. We're all Marvel fans at the end of the day, but have your say in this thread. Link is in the description below. There we have it. That has been the Marvel Contest of Champions news for the 1st of March, 2019. Do bear in mind on Sunday, it will be launching my updated puzzle video. And then about an hour later, I will be then doing a special stream where we'll be able to do a community-based puzzle together. So we'll be getting, getting different types of PNGs of characters and trying to piece them together to kind of create this kind of community-built one and try and think about logical suggestions about where we're putting things. So it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be nice and interactive and fun at the same time, which I can guarantee, unlike Marvel Contest of Champions, when they say that, they don't necessarily guarantee that. But also, yes, thank you very much for watching this video. If you want to be a member to the channel, please hit the join button. And at the same time, if you want to join our Discord, which is growing in number, then hit the link in the description. It will take you to there. Make sure to share as well in the community. Like and subscribe. And I shall catch you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.